Uh, what's up guys, welcome to Junior Electronics. Uh, my name is Clemo and uh, today I have an uh, inverter. Uh, it is from a 12 volt to up to 12 volt input and uh, you get about 220, uh, 600 watts. These things are useful, uh, you can use it in the car, or from the home, or anywhere. Anyway. Uh, this one of mine had um, accidentally uh, changed, changed the polarities and uh, from then on it didn't uh, it stopped working. So I'm uh, gonna have to open it inside and check uh, what the problem is. As you can see here, uh, so if you try to turn it on, nothing is happening here. Again, nothing at all. I got my meter with me here, so as well, I can check. So, if there's a power normal, I should be able to. It. And you see, I'm getting nothing. So I'm gonna open it and check it. Uh, what's the problem? I hope this video can help you for a future uh, video or anything. Yeah, first screws. I'm gonna open them. Okay, uh, there it is. Let's zoom in inside. Uh, as you can see, uh, here is uh, our cable uh, input. Is this one here? They come, they come through here inside here, and then they go to the rest. The second, uh, from checking everything inside here. Uh, Everything seems to be okay. The capacitors are all in order as well. So uh, only only one thing you can maybe check here will be oh, that's the fuse. This one's you have to check this one and see if uh, if they're okay. So I'm just gonna unplug it. Okay, this one. Okay, is that they have Um, so I'm gonna test the them first and see what For testing this kind of fuse, uh, you need to on your meter. Um, about there. There's a sound. That's good. Uh, this kind of fuse, they're actually uh, just a, a, a very tiny wire. It's between uh, these two pins here. There's a ten, tiny wire inside there. Uh, some time when it's burned up, the time when it has uh, So we're gonna measure, see if it's okay. If it is okay, it should be. So you can see, uh, this one is burned up. It's useless. Can't use this one. Take the other one. The same. So it seems my fuse are burned up. So they're all gone up. 
So uh, I'm gonna change that. Uh, but had uh, uh, new ones. It's all, also, you have to make sure they are all the same. It's about 25. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's still 25 anyway. So this is like and the new one. And uh, to show you the difference, a good and bad. See this on beeps, and you can see the small wire in between here. So if something goes wrong with power, then this one burns up and save the rest of the electronics. So this is good. I'm gonna replace it back. Also good. Also good. So I'm gonna first test everything before I put everything closer. So as you can see also, not, before I had uh, put it on, there was no light. And now, this is the green light. Uh, it's beeping showing my battery is low, but uh, I think we can measure power. Uh, how much is producing? Oops. There you go. Oh, um. So that's it. Our uh, inverter is all back in, in action. Everything is working properly. Uh, my battery is kind of low. So I'm gonna just put it off. But hey, uh, so the thing is, it's working. You don't have to throw it away or anything. So uh, can you just. So now I'm gonna close it now, uh, and I hope guys it helps someone there. Uh, so uh, don't throw electronics easily when it's not they're not working. Better always nice to check them out before you throw them away. So it just saved me a lot of time and money. So buying a whole new thing, I just changed this one, the fuse, and everything's all good. So I'm gonna put everything back. So there you go. But my inverter is all good. I can go and eat it for many stuff. Cheers.